Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg with the AwesomeCast.net here on this April 29th, 2015. Check out our friends at SliceOnBroadway.com and BoldPittsburgh.com, supporters of our podcast on Tuesday night, of which there are tons coming out today. Just go to SorgatronMedia.com so you don't miss a single one. I recorded eight podcasts on Tuesday this week. Please listen to one. You listen to this one at least, right? So anyways, um, getting right into it as I'm getting messages over on the other line. So excuse me for that. Uh, but anyways, uh, iPad app issues, uh, an iPad app issue, according to The Verge, um, grounds a few dozen American Airlines flights. <gasps> So what, what, what is the big issue here? Well, apparently, of course, uh, uh, American Airlines was one of the first uh, um, airplanes, 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 uh, groups of airplanes, air, airlines. That's the word we're looking for this early uh, th- Wednesday morning um, that was cleared to allow iPad use. And there's actually pictures of it in the tweets here on uh, on on the 737. What it looks like on the flight deck, and basically it has your flight plans and it has the manuals, and there and it's actually a fuel efficiency because there's 35 pounds in uh, flight manuals that they would often carry onto the plane. Now it's on the iPad. Now apparently the issue was uh, something happened with the iPads. Apparently this was a network wide thing, and I don't know. Maybe they have something special on these iPads where uh, you know it, it's kind of synced over the network. Um, uh, you know that the flight, you know, so all the flight plans are, are synced, and etc. Maybe for updates, maybe for for the back end. But either way, um, they all were showing up having problems with the application, and uh, I believe. Uh, to the point where they ended up grounding again a few dozen planes because of it, uh, because they couldn't get it up. Um, one one group, uh, one couple actually de de uh, boarded, and uh, they were traveling from uh, Austin to Dallas Fort Worth Airport, and uh, he actually uh, de boarded and uh, got got in a car and 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 drove to their destination. Um, this is interesting. Uh, let's see. The pilot, even the pilot, got on the intercom after a while and said that his co-pilot's iPad went blank. Then, 24 minutes later, the pilot's went blank too, according to the, this uh, eyewitness account. That's scary. <laughs> you know what happens when that happens when you're uh, up in the air, right? Uh, but again, you know, there's other ways. There's radio. There's there's everything else. I'm sure there's there's stuff in um, because if it's not the iPad with the flight plans, you know, it, it's 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 probably a computer that that communicates that um, with the tower with everything else that they're communicating with. So um, obviously, a little bit of an issue. Uh, it's technology. Things will fail, and uh, rather safe than sorry. Uh, so, um, so uh, what do you think about this? What do you think about this dependence as, as far as your air travel on the iPads using some new technology and, and I thought, you know, exciting ways, but now worrisome if this is the kind of thing that happens. And it's probably a back end server issue to be, to be quite honest, uh, somewhere along the lines. Um, hopefully American airlines can solve this issue indefinitely and, uh, we won't have any of those issues again, but you know, in, in anything like this, if there's an issue and they have to ground a plane, I would rather that be happening on the ground than up in the air. Um, and, uh, there was, uh, one show, one, one show I was listening to and they're like, you know, they're worried about a flight being delayed and they're like, Hey, you know, if they need whatever time they need to do this right, because they're, they're, they're sending a tube full of people at, uh, 400 miles an hour into, uh, at, at, at 30,000 feet for a long distance, I kind of want to get them right. Kind of want to get them right. And it's a little worrisome when the co-pilot is late. And they're getting him coffee in the cockpit. <laughs> that I experienced in Vegas. Let us know what you think on uh, wherever you find this video or audio formatted file for your ear holes. Um, and, and let us know what you, about that. Uh, awesomecast.net for uh, more great tech stuff that we're doing all week. Including this Thursday, we're releasing a, a, our interview with John Chamberlain of yajagoff.com. Well, a great talk that we had with him last week about what he's doing, a blogger extraordinaire. And we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.